Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today we're making a skillet chocolate chip cookie. It has a light and crispy texture and can be eaten warm like a cake or leave it to cool and pop the whole thing out and eat it as a giant cookie. This cookie is so good that I had to make three cookies in a row because we couldn't stop eating them. And what's best? It's super simple to make with very few ingredients that you probably already have on hand. Click below the video for a full list of ingredients and recipe. We will start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius. You will need an oven safe skillet for this recipe and I'm using my well seasoned cast iron. We will start by browning the butter. Cook 4 tablespoons of unsalted butter until it's fully melted and starts to bubble up. Browning butter is a nice hack to add a lot of complex flavor to the cookie without doing that much work. Once you see the butter bubbling, cook for 2-3 to three more minutes until the butter starts to brown and gets nice nutty smell. Our butter is ready, so let's pour the butter into a mixing bowl and set aside to cool. For our dry ingredients, add 1 cup of all-purpose flour. I'm using gluten-free, but you could use any white all-purpose flour. Add a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and let's mix it really well to make sure there are no clumps left. In the bowl with butter, add 1 fourth cup of white sugar, 1 third cup of brown sugar, 1 egg, and mix it up all really well. Brown sugar can get lumpy, so try your best to break it up. Carefully incorporate the dry ingredients into the wet and mix just enough to combine. There's no need to overmix. Our last ingredient is chocolate chips, and I'm going to add about 1 third cup. Transfer the cookie dough into the cast iron and get every little bit out of your mixing bowl. Bake the cookie at 350 for 22 minutes. Once the cookie is baked, the chocolate you can see sank to the bottom. So I like to add a few more on top for looks. And because the cookie is hot, they melt right into it. Now let it sit for about 10 minutes if you're cutting it like a cake, or wait for the cookie to fully cool off if you want to lift the whole cookie out. This is why I love using cast iron pan for baking the cookie, nothing ever gets stuck to it. Hope you enjoyed this recipe and thank you so much for watching. And a big thank you for my awesome nephew who helped me film this video. He's a gaming YouTuber and you can find his channel link in the description box below. 